I will show you five ways to have fun with text in Procreate. Number one, a paper cutout effect. Creating a paper cutout effect for your text is super easy. Let's first zoom out a little bit. And when you go to your layer menu, you'll see a layer for your text. If you don't know how to add text in Procreate, just go to the wrench then to add and then to add text. Now on top of this text layer, we are going to create another layer by tapping the plus and we will set this layer to clipping mask. Tap the layer, tap clipping mask, and now I'll go and grab a color that you like. I will be picking this one. And you can grab a brush like the monoline brush. And I'll make a wavy line start all the way on the left and make a wavy line over the text all the way to the right before you drag in the color to fill that layer. Then make a new layer. First tap text, then tap the plus for a new layer and it'll be automatically clipped. And we'll grab the next color. You can grab whatever color you like. Make another wavy line to the right and drag in the color. Now just continue creating layers like this with different colors until you have filled your letter entirely. Now for the last piece you want to fill, you can just create a new layer on top of the text layer, pick your color and just fill that layer. Of course, this doesn't look like a paper cutout effect yet. We are going to duplicate these top four layers that we have. You don't need to duplicate the first layer of color. So duplicate these layers by dragging to the left and then tapping duplicate. And now we are going to fill these bottom layers. You're going to fill them with a dark gray. So tap the bottom layer, drag on the color. Then for this one, the bottom layer each time pick the bottom layer and fill it with gray next you need to add a blur to these layers so go to the magic wand tool then to gaussian blur and slide your pen to the right on the screen to create a slight blur let's say five percent then we'll go to the next one we'll add a five percent blur there as well and do this for every gray layer that you have created. Then let's set all of these gray layers to the multiply layer blending mode. Tap the N, then scroll up to multiply to turn this into a shadow layer. So every time tap the N, and set it to multiply only the shadow layers, the gray layers that you have created. Now we will select all of these layers by dragging to the right. Then we'll go to the move tool, that's the little arrow. And we will move this layer up and to the side a little bit, just slightly. Then tap the arrow again. And now we need a shadow for the entire text. To do that, we are going to tap this layer with the text, then use select. Then here at the bottom, tap invert. And then we'll make a new layer at the top of all of the other layers by tapping the plus, and then we'll drag in this gray. Now tap that new layer and set it to clipping mask, and it'll be invisible right now, but we are going to blur it. First turn off that selection. Then go to the Gaussian Blur by going to the magic wand and drag your pen to the right to let's say 7%. And then we are going to move this layer by going to the Move tool and move it upwards and to the right just a little bit to get this nice paper cutout effect. Then just tap the arrow again and you have created your first text effect. Number two, a colorful marble-like effect. To create a colorful effect for your text, make a new layer on top of your text by tapping the plus, then go and grab a brush like the round brush, for instance, under painting. And then just add some splashes of color onto your text. Just some blobs. 
randomly placed on top of your text. Until you have covered your entire text. Then once you have done that, let's go to the magic wand and then go to liquify. Then we'll go to crystals. We'll set the momentum to max. The distortion is set to 50% and let's set the size to 60%. Now just hold your pen on your screen to create this crystal like effect and hold it longer to make the color spread out more. And then once you have a nice crystal like effect, go to twirl left or twirl right, doesn't really matter. And turn down the distortion a little bit. Let's set it to 75% and then just make your colors twirl. And once you have a nice twirly effect, you can go to the layer menu, tap your twirly layer, and then set it to clipping mask. And now your colorful twirls will only show up on your text. Number three, let's turn our text into 3D text. First, let's go to the layer, tap it, and let's rasterize our layer. Once you rasterize your layer, you can paint on it again, but you won't be able to change the text anymore. Let's fill our text with a color. I'm going to make it a light orange by just dragging in the color. And then we are going to duplicate this layer by dragging to the left and tapping duplicate. Now go to the bottom one and let's give this a different color. Let's go for a slightly darker orange in this case. Make sure you fill the text. You won't be able to see it since the layer is underneath the other. And now we are going to move our text. Go to the move tool. That's the little arrow and drag it to the right and down a little bit until it's about here and then tap the arrow again. Now to make it look 3D, we need to attach the front text with the back text. To do that, let's make a new layer on top by tapping the plus and let's go to the selection tool. That's the S shape ribbon, set it to freehand and turn on color fill. Now let's zoom in and we are going to attach these corners together. You can just tap this corner, then tap the next one, then loop around and close your selection. And we are going to do this for every single corner. Now we aren't able to see the back corner here. Now to fix that, we can just lower the opacity of the front text by tapping the end setting it to 70% for example, and then go back to the selection tool to make sure that we get the angle right here. So we are going to go along all of these corners. So every time you need to attach the two corners that are the same. So here we have the upper right corner. You need to attach it to the upper right corner of the E that's in the back. Same goes for the X. Attach the corners that are the same. Don't forget this one. And while we are working on this, let me tell you about another video that you can start watching after you are done with this one, in case you haven't watched it already, of course, because in that video, we will be creating five different brushes in Procreate, like an outline brush, a color changing brush, a stamp brush, a patterned liner brush, and a hair brush. So be sure to check that video out if you want to become a master in brush creation. And the last one. Now we can turn off the selection and we can turn up the opacity of this front text again. And we can also merge these two layers by pinching them together. 
And to add a more 3D like effect, we are going to add a little shadow. Let's tap the plus for a new layer and set it to clipping mask. So whatever we draw will only show up on this text layer. For the color, we are going to grab this one, that fourth color here. I'll be sure to link the color palette in the description in case you want to use the same colors. But just make sure that you use a darker color than your base color. For the brush, we can use the monoline brush. And now we are going to focus on the undersides of our letters. So that's this area. We can make a shape around it and then fill it. Then we'll go over here, start here in the corner and hold your pen in place and then tap edit shape here. So you can move your line and make sure that it's right in the corner. We'll go for the next one over here. Use edit shape. And then fill this area. Then we'll go to the bottom of the T. Again, hold your pen in place for the quick shape tool. Go to edit shape. And make sure that it's right on the corner. And fill the rest. And do this for every single letter. So only the bottom planes of your letters. And here for the X, you can go across that area and then just use the eraser to get rid of that extra part. Now for the X, I would also like to add a little bit of shadow on these two planes since they are facing downwards a little bit as well. So let's make a layer between these two, tap the bottom text and tap the plus, and then grab this third color. So it's slightly darker than the other side planes. So color these in. And there you have a super simple 3D text effect. Number four, we are going to combine a photo with a text. We're going to use a photo of candy and make it stick out of our text. First thing you need to do is add the photo by going to the wrench and then to add and then to insert a photo and select the photo of the candy. Now let's lower the opacity of the candy layer a little bit by tapping the end and lowering the opacity. Zoom out a little bit and now move the candy around by going to the move tool and make sure that you find a nice way to make some candy stick out of, well, of our text. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I think we can make it work like this. We can have this yellow one sticking out of the T. We can make it stick out over here. Here we can make some parts sticking out. Maybe we need to move this one or make it smaller. Something like this. Then let's tap the arrow again. Now we are going to duplicate this layer. We are going to tap the layer and use select. Do make sure that color fill is turned off. Then we'll go to the top layer, tap it and use mask. We can turn up the opacity of this candy layer again. And we'll lower the opacity of this layer a little bit more. Let's set it to around 20%. Turn off the selection by tapping the S shape ribbon. And now we are going to unmask some of these candies. I like using my fine liner brush for that. It's part of the treasure chest brush pack. It's a pack that you can get for free by going to freefromflow.com. Now make sure that you select a layer mask and make sure that you use pure white. You can double tap here in this area to grab pure white. And then we are going to zoom in and we are going to make some of these candies stick out. Make sure that you vary your brush size to make minor adjustments. And if you're going too far, then you can just switch to pure black here at the bottom. 
make your brush smaller and adjust some areas. Just go along a bunch of these candies, making them stick out. Make sure that you use or that you go for the top candies though. Because those will make the most sense to be sticking out and not the bottom candies. Now, once you have done this, you can actually turn off that bottom photo layer and check your results. It doesn't look entirely realistic yet though, because we need some shadow. Now to do that, let's tap the text layer, tap it, you select, make sure that you don't have color fill turned on and then use invert. I'll make a layer on top of the others by tapping the plus and we'll grab a very dark color and then drag it onto the screen. Now turn off the selection by tapping the S shape ribbon, then go to the layer menu, tap the layer and use clipping mask. Now we're going to go to the magic wand, use Gaussian blur, slide to the right to about 6% and then use the move tool. That's the little arrow and drag it down and to the right. And tap the layer menu again, tap the N and set it to multiply. Of course, we don't want these wriggly worms to be black. So let's make a layer mask on this layer as well. Tap it, use mask, set the color to black. And then let's paint over these little worms to get rid of the shadow there. So do this for all the candies that are sticking out. And now all we need is a little bit of shadow, a little bit of drop shadow underneath our candies. So let's make a layer underneath the candy layer, by tapping the plus. And for the brush, you can use a brush like the medium brush under airbrushing. We're still using the dark color. Let's make the brush nice and small, 3%. The opacity is at 90%. Now let's go underneath these wriggly worms. To give them a slight shadow. Now go to the Gaussian blur. Slide to the right to blur it just slightly, let's say 6% and then lower the opacity by tapping the N on the layer and dragging it to about 55%. And that's how you can create the illusion of a photo sticking out of your text. Let's go to the fifth and final effect. We are going to make the text look like a hole in the ground. To do that, first we need to rasterize our layer. So go to the text layer, tap rasterize. So now we can do with the layer whatever we please, but we can't change the text anymore. We're going to distort it by going to the move tool and then turning on distort here at the bottom. Now we'll grab these corner handles and we are going to pull this text into perspective. Pull these handles outwards and these inwards until the text looks something like this. You can also go to uniform and make your text just a little bit bigger like this. And now let's go to the layer menu. We are going to change the color of our text first. Let's grab this third color and make our text nice and blue. And now we are going to make a layer on top and we are going to set that to clipping mask again. For the brush, we are going to use the model line brush. And for the color, we'll grab this one, the second color and the third row here of my color palette. But of course you can pick any color you like as long as it's a little bit darker than your base color. 
Now let's zoom in and we are going to start with the corners again. Let me make the brush smaller, 15%. Start in this corner, for example. Hold your pen in place and then tap one finger on the screen to make sure that your line is perfectly vertical. We'll do the same starting at this corner. Hold your pen in place to make a perfectly vertical line. Then I'll loop around here and fill this area. If you have some parts sticking out, you can just use the eraser and fix those parts. Start at the corner. Make sure that you have a perfectly vertical line. And then we'll need a line over here as well, around this corner. Again, tap your finger on the screen. Then make sure that you can create a closed shape here before you fill it. Then onto the X. I will start at this corner. Hold your pen in place first and then tap one finger on the screen. Then close the shape. Fill it. And if you went a little bit too far, you can use the eraser again and go past it. And for the eraser, you can use the quick shape tool as well. Then onto this corner. Make sure you hold your pen in place and that you tap one finger on the screen for a perfectly vertical line. Onto the T, we have this corner again. And this one over here. And then we'll make this into a closed shape. And then we'll drag in the color. Now let's make a layer underneath this one. So first tap text and tap the plus, then grab this lighter color. That's the fourth color over here. And we'll use that for this area. Close this shape, fill it. And this one over here. Now let's make this area light as well. And this front part of our T. Now this is already looking pretty much 3D, but to add to it, we are going to add shadows to the depth of our text. To add shadow without going outside of the text, you can turn on alpha lock on each layer. So tap the layer, turn on alpha lock, or use two fingers and swipe to the right on your layer. We'll start with this one. We'll grab a dark color, that first color over here. And for the brush, you can use the soft brush, for instance. The opacity is at 75% and let's make it nice and small, 6%. And let's go over the lower area over here. And you can do this for each layer. Gently go over the lower areas. To create the illusion that there's shadow over there. And finally, this layer. So just a little bit of shadow at the bottom. And that's how you can create the illusion of 3D text. Now these were five ways to have fun with your text in Procreate. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite. And of course, you can go ahead and combine these techniques. Just be sure to share your results. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time.